Anglia next Saturday, starring Faye Dunaway, the private life of a Hollywood legend, Mommy Dearest. We're ready for you, Miss Crawford. I love you, Mommy Dearest. I love you, Tina, darling. Based on the book by Joan Crawford's adopted daughter, it reveals the star's private passions and often violent temper. Mommy Dearest is next Saturday at 11.35 on Anglia. Just like home, really. Coming up next, it's the news from ITN. And after that, you know what it is. Yes, it's Pete Waterman and Michaela Strachan. And talking of Michaela Strachan, Gary Preston of Bedford writes to me, he says, and as for Michaela... For me, she is just heaven personified. Gary, behave yourself. Hello to Kim and Tony. They're going to give it some of that in just a couple of minutes after the news from ITN. If there's one thing guaranteed to upset a Frenchman, it's when something comes between him and Le Weekend. Especially when Le Weekend offers a certain je ne sais quoi. Fortunately, this Frenchman happens to drive an Audi 80. A performance car with a mistral resistance factor of 0.29. And because time and tide wait for no man, the body is fully galvanized with a 10-year anti-corrosion warranty. The Audi 80. Forsprung durch Technik, as they say on Mont Saint-Michel. At Radio Rentals, we now offer satellite dishes. And since we started doing dishes, it seemed only natural that we should start to rent dishwashers too. I wonder why they're called Radio Rentals. We can't control the British weather. Thank goodness we can control gas. Controllable, economical gas. The heat of the moment. In a top-class field, one competitor has set a pace too quick for any of the international competition. A competitor good enough to become the number one name in sports shoes in the UK. High-tech, four-wheel drive for your feet. It's approaching 2 a.m. time for the latest news headlines from ITN. There's speculation that the Chinese government could impose martial law on the whole country. The military crackdown in the capital, Beijing, has so far failed to stop the anti-government demonstrations there. The American Secretary of State, James Baker, has said change in China is irreversible. He said Washington didn't want to seem to be encouraging the students to riot. No new television pictures have been allowed out of China since yesterday morning. Jeremy Thompson phoned this report. ITN has seen combat troops dressed for battle armed with assault rifles. 
Some told us they'd been issued with live ammunition, but were uncertain of their mission. Soldiers were in tears as workers and students urged them to retreat. Others shook hands with the protesters, their loyalties clearly torn. People vowed to push the troops out of Beijing to protect the student hunger strikers. The latest government announcement said the People's Liberation Army would not suppress the students, though it's debatable whether the troops would follow orders from a government now clearly out of step with its people. Jeremy Thompson, ITN, Beijing. In Hong Kong, 45,000 people marched in support of the Chinese students. Hong Kong's coming under Chinese control in 1997. The demonstrators called on the Chinese Prime Minister Li Peng to resign. In Washington, more than 3,000 Chinese students marched on the Chinese embassy. They too urged Premier Li Peng to go and called for an end to martial law in Beijing. Leaders of Britain's power manual workers are calling off their threatened overtime ban. They're recommending acceptance of a new 9.2% pay offer. That's 1.2% more than the latest inflation figure. There are to be talks on new working practices to go with privatisation of the electricity industry. The Prime Minister has told Mr Lawson that she doesn't hold him responsible for letting inflation rise to 8%. Mrs Thatcher phoned the Chancellor in Spain where he's attending an EEC finance minister's meeting. Media speculation about a possible rift followed an interview she gave to the BBC's World Service in which she said inflation had been caused by shadowing the Deutsche Mark too closely. That's it. Join us later in the morning for more news. Hey, Michaela, who's this guy, Kevin Worth? Regular DJ at Rick's place, and he's coming on our show. Well, behave, Kevin. Give it some. <laughs>